here's what's going on in Iran. I was there in September. Mm -hmm. There's inflation. People don't have jobs. The kids are on drugs. The situation is bad. Ahmadinejad was giving a speech in his own son's university, and they burned his picture upside down because of all the ruckus he's raised over whether the Holocaust existed or not. You, you said that uh, the kids in Iran are doing drugs. I didn't know that. <laughs> I stopped. The, he listened to everything. Was he, you can get drugs in Iran. Oh yeah, <laughs> really? you can. You can get uh, heroin. It's cheaper than U.S. bubble gum. Really? You can get opium, which is uh, sent Greg, over you're going the border. Subject now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin. I just count. Can I just say something? Iran, yes. <laughs> Iran and the U.S. appear to agree on one thing, though, and that is that the EU and the UN are totally useless. <laughs> They're like butt well, out. This has nothing right. to do with you, and you're useless. Well, we're, do you think they want another war with the Hezbos? I mean, Hezbollah. I think, think there are those the in the Middle East. I think there are the those. The That's yeah. a vaguely sexual. Hot Hezbo actions. That's what we're asking it. about. We can make a new sitcom out of that. They're Haitian lesbians. Hezbos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> seeing that. I like hey, it, Greg. Welcome to Hezbo <laughs> Island. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the source on all this, on this. Well, that's, that's what I it. wanted to know because I mean, these are supposed to be the new, you know, the, uh, your version of 24. But I thought, why didn't you guys have this already? Is this right. some kind okay, of news PR flash, move? News flash. I know it's difficult to believe 24s make believe. <laughs> okay. I tried telling him that I, all I day. I know Kevin. sometimes it's it very every, close, but every hour is a real hour, so I know it's true. <laughs> Samantha's no. laughing at me. You're welcome. I'm sorry. <laughs> Samantha probably believes it is true, though. That's the problem. <laughs> no. The you problem do, Samantha. Is, is um, Samantha, you know, what? what is going on? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting tired of hearing Rosie O'Donnell's name, yet I report, her, report on this every day. You do. Should she be put away somewhere, or is she good for this country well, to remind us that she's already, out there as a You already case? know that I'm a Rosie supporter. I know you are. She said oh, something. Samantha. <laughs> no. No. Um, I think that I it's... knew you'd do this. <laughs> I I think she's a really positive voice for people who want peace and are speaking against the war. Oh my and god. I love right. her. But... Except she looks like Fiona off Shrek, only less line. So what? <laughs> Whether who we cares like how it... she looks. Go I ahead. wonder what she'd look like wrapped in cling film. But but Samantha, I mean her. go Bill. The fact of the matter Just is making me choose opinion. between O'Reilly and Rosie is like making me choose between your left man breast and your right man breast. <laughs> Either way, I'm, gonna, I'm disgusted. True. This scares the hell out of me. They're taking our rum, they're taking our shampoo, but they can't find a my single... My lip gloss. Your lip... My lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> and I had mine up the old wazoo. <laughs> <laughs> they still found it. They still found They're it. They're checking there. They're checking everywhere. <laughs> you said Wazoo like a 1920s actor. Uh, I, mean, Wazoo, Wazoo, I don't know. Wazoo. Wazoo. When we come back, we're going to talk about the sex sting that caught a few people from a place you'd be surprised they were caught in from. Where? <laughs> Somewhere. I don't know where I am. Right I don't now. know where I am right now. I'm floating above this table. An out of body experience, perhaps. Jesus Christ. <laughs> come back. Come back. <laughs> Three of the men arrested turned out to be Disney uh, Disney World employees, and Disney uh, spokesperson said they took a, they're taking appropriate action. I mean, should we be that shocked that people that are into child porn would flock to a place where there are children? I mean, wouldn't, shouldn't we be more diligent but not be shocked? Well, you know, and you hear about the janitor who rapes a girl in school. People who are attracted to children, pedophiles, tend to try to get jobs in places where there are lots of children. Yes, I agree. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did I just end that conversation? Yes, I think you did. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, moving on. Next topic. I don't know, but I mean, should, should, should Disney World feel that bad about it? I mean, shouldn't they be happy that it's not larger? I'm sure it is. Larger. I'm sure that's what yeah, I was going to say, I you know? Think, yeah, these I mean, are the ones nice. who got caught. <laughs> yeah, these weren't even the <laughs> industry that they regret to some extent. The, the Crusades, the Holocaust, these are very upsetting things. <laughs> like, why can't they just teach and talk about stuff like Canute? Pleasant things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I go to school every day with a smile on my face. The park says it needs the ride to stay in business. The whole thing smacks of thrillism. I just made up that word. Thrillis thrillism is like bigotry against amusement park rides. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yes, <laughs> thrillisms. Yes, and you know what I think? It's like complaining against li living next to an amusement park because there's a lot of screaming. That's like a great piece of advice for a serial killer. Get like a, get like a, get like a, I used to live next to an amusement park. Get like a place next to an amusement park. And just like, you, you can do whatever you want. People just think people are on the used to live next to an amusement park, Greg. Does used that to explain? Be a serial killer. <laughs> yes. I lived next to Dorney Park Wild Water Kingdom. And all you heard all day was screams. Screams. It made it really easy for me to do my work. I can <laughs>
And then they're like, what do you do when your neighbor's having sex? I mean, do you complain about that? I just watch. Really loud? You just I hope it's every five minutes, you know, or All right, on that note, seconds. Speaking of sex and sexy, Andrew Levy with the Halftime Report. Hey, Hi. Do you still feel like you're floating above the table? Yes, I do. <laughs> I told you not to do it all at once, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember when we were growing up and kidnapping other country citizens was an act of war? Good, yeah. good times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rudy says Ahmadinejad would like nothing more than for the U.S. to attack Iran. Hey, me and Ajad have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it true, Rudy, that in, when you see allegedly? <laughs> yes. When you see your career fade, like it always Thanks. works to like introduce the lesbian part. Yeah. Don't you agree? Uh, you know, I think that the men love it when women say, "Hey, I had a lesbian experience." So mm -hmm. I think yes, that we did. women will always take advantage <laughs> of it. I, I you know, <laughs> women will take advantage of it when things are going rough maybe or not just to get um, more don't viewers care. or She's got nothing left. Look, you're talking about it. Yes, I am, and I'm thinking about it. I'm lost <laughs> in another word. Kev, Kevin, it's because secretly we all kind of think of ourselves joining in when they're having their uh, their thing that they do. Whatever it is. Quite right. Well, yes. I consider like myself a lesbian. <laughs> yes, you do. You're less masculine than one, but I'll give you that. But well, I I thank you, kind <laughs> sir. I don't think it works the same way for women, though. Women don't like to think about guys' sword fighting and that sort of thing. Oh. Uh, well, I've seen yes, some of your exactly. doodles, Rachel, and they all involve me and Greg. <laughs> well, I think it. that term is definitely... <laughs> yeah. I think that they like to think about their men appreciating the things that lesbians appreciate, yeah. but I don't think they like to think about men with other men. Red Eye wishes a happy 58th birthday to actor Ron Palillo. He played Horshack in the classic TV show Welcome Back, Potter. Since then, he's been extremely active, telling people he used to play Horshack in the classic TV show Welcome Back. <laughs> now, let's go to our senior correspondent, my mother. Hello. Oh, hi there. How are you? Oh, I'm still living. Ah, oh, well, that's good. We never know, do we? <laughs> oh, one day to the next. That's why we have people come around the house and poke you. <laughs> did, the, did the poker come by and poke you today to make sure you were up? Pardon me? No, it's okay. Ignore my jokes. William Roddy from Quincy, California writes, I only watch your mom's segment. The rest of you are all security risks, so I can't trust you. <laughs> However, I'm told my new medications may change in that opinion in the next two or three weeks. Ah. Martha McKinney checks in. This show is not news and it's not entertainment. Please put something on that won't give me the hives. Try a cream or a salve. <laughs> Don Cosby, Don Cosby from Anchorage, Alaska writes, when Red Eye started, I thought it was crap. Now it's growing on me. I seem to like it more than not. We need more of Bill's Man on the Street segments. Ugh, I like my nap time. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Mike McKenzie of Rapids, Wisconsin writes, is Andy available to do halftime reports at my bachelor party? Is Rachel available the rest of the night? Ooh. <laughs> now let's take a look at what Andy has in store for tomorrow's stories. Hello, Andy. Hey, Greg. Hey, oddly, Rachel's available for the halftime report, and I'm available for the rest of the night. <laughs> I don't know if that's good for the guy or not, but, you know. I'm not sure that works me. for me. <laughs> Better you than me. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Bill. And Rudy, it was a pleasure having you on. It's great to be on. And I hope Thanks. you come back again. I love it. Do, would you really? You're not just saying that because I'm close to you. You'll never night. see me again. Let me tell you that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, maybe uh, maybe we'll have you on as a regular, almost constantly. I would love it. Maybe every day. Okay. Enough of this chatter. Be gone. Go to bed. Do something with your lives. Bye. Good.